listen, there's fighters out there that are the, just the complete package, man. They have it all. They got the combination of speed, power, defense, footwork, agility, good reflexes, good ring IQ. So these fighters are special, man. Whether we like them or not, these are the ones that are special. And I, you know, I, I want to get you guys' opinion. Or well, who do you think, what fighters have the complete package? You got some fighters that got punching power, but can't move and have no defense. You got fighters that have great defense, can move, but no punching power. You got some that have a little of everything. You have some that don't have any ring IQ, but got power. Some that have a bunch of power, but no ring IQ. Or, 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 you know, vice versa. So, me personally, there's a handful of fighters I think currently boxing that have the complete package. And I'll be honest with y'all, man, it's not many boxers that on my list, at least, that I could think of that have the complete package. These boxers got everything, all right? Now, these are th this is how I feel about them in the ring. This has nothing to do with how I feel about them outside the ring or, you know, when it comes to them making fights and all of this stuff or, or whatever. But to be honest, bro, I, I had to sit and think about this and there's only like three fighters, bro. Right now, that's boxing. I think have the complete package, bro. That's it. Just three fighters, bro. Out of how many fighters? Three. It's just three, and 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 maybe four. And when I say maybe, uh, it's because I have I might have to add him in as a four, a close four, because uh, one of his latest fights, he surprised me with his boxing skill. So I might say four. Let's talk about these four that I think have the complete package, bro. In no particular order, but number one, Gerard Boots in this. Um, I think Boots, he's at 147 pounds currently, by the way. The dude is just a phenom. He's an excellent fighter. You can say what you want. You can say, oh, he ain't fought nobody. Bro, let me tell you something about that. That's why I don't really harp on that. I, I do, you know, there's levels. You know, um, but man, these dudes that we say that they ain't really fought, that ain't nobody's, will probably whoop a lot of our asses in one round. Probably not even, it wouldn't even take them a round to whoop our ass. You know, for real. So, you gotta, you gotta give them some kind of respect. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Boots, his IQ, his punch placement, his, his accuracy, his footwork, his... His defense, it, 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 listen, you're gonna get hit, this is boxing. But bro, you, you just, just watch him in that ring, bro. Watch Boots, watch him. It, 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 it's like he sees almost, you know how like Floyd would see a punch before it's thrown? It's like Boots is already, he, he's already reacting to a punch that hasn't even been thrown yet. The only, I see Shakur Stevenson do the same thing. It's it's, a, it's amazing to watch shit like that. Is he's special, man? You can say what you want about who he, his his level of competition. He's a special fighter, bro. And then when you see those skills put into action against an elite fighter, it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be amazing to watch, bro. His, he has punching power. He switch hits. Very good reflexes. Gerard Boutinis is one of these fighters that have the complete package. Speed. He appears to have a great chin. Got hit pretty hard. A, few, a lot of, about two, I, I count maybe two, three times where Roy McVeigh cracked him real good on the chin. Kept on coming. So Boots is one of them. Number two on my list, Javante Tank Davis. Yeah. And y'all know how I feel about Tank. Uh, you know, the shit that he be doing when it comes to fights and all of the, the, the rehydration stuff. I don't like that shit, bro. I never did, never will. Not just with Tank, with anybody, with Canelo. I don't care who it is. It could have been fighters in the past. I don't like that. Fight, motherfucker. Y'all the same way. Y'all fighting in one division. Y'all make weight. That's it. All the weird shit, I don't like. But Javante Davis is another one with the complete package. Now, 
everybody he's another one that people will say well who has he really fought I get it it seems like he's avoided Devin Haiti seems like he's avoided Shakur um but lately he's been saying he wants Dev we'll see man I'm not here to talk about that but I think he's the complete package Javante Davis ex has explosive punching power you don't have to worry about his power being questioned he has great footwork. He can move. He can box. Excellent ring IQ. He has great speed. His defense. Uh, a lot of people would say Tank gets hit a lot. You know what I think when it comes to Tank? He gets hit a lot by people who he wants to get hit a lot by. If, if you see him when he was fighting Roley. Look how defensive he was. Look how how cautious he was. Because he knows Roley got that lights out power. As, as that retarded fucking special ed lights out power Roley got. He knew it. And he told everybody, he's like, Roley ain't hard as a motherfucker. All right? And then watch him fight Leo Santa Cruz. He was getting pieced up because he didn't respect Roley's, he didn't respect Leo's power. So that's why. But you see his face against Roley. Hardly anything was on his face. Did barely, barely a scratch. And then against Isak Cruz. One-handed fighter. He was one-handed in that fight. Hardly got touched. So I think Tank Davis, uh, I think his defense is, is, is underrated. He has good defense, bro. If he wants to, he can move. Bounce side to side movement. He can move around. He can become a Kieran Chukazan in that ring if he wanted to. I've seen him do it. But he can also press you. Just like Boots. You see how Boots mixed it up with, with uh how Boots mixed up the fight with um Royman Villa? How he was outboxing Royman, moving around. Then he said, no, 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 I'm bring it back in. Let me fight this. Let me, let me put the pressure on him. Then he, he stepped the gas up, cut the ring off on, on, a, on, on a puncher, bro. On an aggressive puncher, Boots cut the ring off on him, bro. And Tank does that same thing. When he wants to press you, he know he got the power to do it. Then he'll turn it up. If he don't feel like it, ah, uh, it's all right. Let me take it. Let me, let me do mid-range. Let me, let me box mid-range. Uh, let's, let me see. I can move around. Outbox. He did it. Against a few fighters. So Javante Tank Davis is the second fighter with the complete package in my book. The third fighter with the complete package is Terrence Bud Crawford, man. You know, you know my guy Bud is another one with the complete package, bro. I think his ring IQ is underestimated. He's another one that can he has the complete package. If he wants to stand there and bang with you, he can. If he wants to go out and outbox and box your head off, he can. He has the arm lift to do it. He has a great chin. And by the way, Tank has Tank seems like he has a pretty good chin. He got hit a few times. But I think, I, I'll be honest about Tank. I think Roley hurt him in that fight, bro. I forgot what round it was. Roley did hit him, but I think he did get wobbled a little bit. Um, if you go back and watch that fight, watch it again. I don't remember what round they Roley hit him with a left. And I think he did stumble. That's the first time I seen Tank like really almost like kind of like wobbled a little bit. I mean, I think it was the round when it looked like he pushed him down. Before he pushed him though, it looked like he was hurt. Go back and watch the fight. But he shook it off and still came back for the knockout. Same with uh, Terrence Crawford, man. Underrated, underrated chin. They say he don't have no chin and all that is bullshit. Good, I mean, monstrous punching power. Uh, man, um, his defense, like I said, he's one of them guys again. To have great defense, to have the package with defense included, you gotta, it's, it's like you, you, you get hit when you wanna get hit. If you don't wanna get hit, an all around a boxer with a complete package won't get hit. And that is Terrence Crawford, he's one of them. Um, speed is still there at 36 years old. Good punching power. He got good footwork when he want to when he want to employ his feet. He got that. So that makes Terence Crawford his number. He's the third one on, on my complete package list. Now my last, the last boxer, you know, it might be some people might question this. Um, 
ought to better be at, man. Um, before I see him fight uh, Joe Smith, I just thought better be able to just like this come forward plotter. It's just a, a, a heavy puncher with no real footwork. But he does. He has great footwork, man. He can outbox you if he wants to. Yeah, he can. He has... Um, say People say he's slow. I mean, he's not exactly the like a, a speedy Gonzalez in the ring or nothing like that. But he has decent speed. He, he he appears to have a great chin. He Listen, just because you got hurt in a fight don't mean you don't have a chin. He's been hit. He's been down once. He's been hurt. You've seen Arthur Better be able to hurt. Okay? These dudes is 175 pounds, bro. So, yeah, he's been hurt. So that can happen. That definitely can happen. Um, I seen, like I said, the footwork is there. I seen that. And a lot of people might say, eh, you know, it's questionable. His defense. He has defense, too. Go back and watch the fight with, you know, Yard was catching him a little bit. But go back and watch that Joe Smith fight, bro. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. So, Arthur Bidabiev is, you know, is a questionable number four on my list. But I think he makes it. He got the all-around power. He got the destructive punching power. So, those are the four. Jerron Boutinis, Jerron T. Tank Davis, Terrence Bud Crawford, and Arthur Bidabiev. Let me know what y'all think.